Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Dan Bennett, the Antipreneur. Have you ever wondered how to make sure that your video projects go smoothly from beginning to end and you weren't sure where to start? Well, today I'm going to show you how to build a super easy folder structure that I use in all my work. Everything from my own YouTube videos up to high paying clients and it's never failed me. Now I'm going to share with you exactly how I build my video project folder structure and we're going to do it from scratch. I'm going to share my screen with you so you can follow every step of the way. The first thing we're going to do is create one folder that will house the entire video project folder structure. And you can name that anything you need to. I'm going to name mine video project. Now that we're inside of that folder, we have a blank slate and we're going to start by building all of our high level folders first. And we have five of these folders total. The first folder that I'm going to build is project files. And you'll notice that I put a zero and a one before the name and we'll get into why I did that in just a little bit. The project files folder is there because every single piece of software that you use in video production, whether it's just your editor or maybe multiple programs like I use After Effects and Adobe Audition as well, all have their own project files that are created once you start a brand new project. So this is a folder where all those things can live. You'll always know where they're at. And again, if you work with a professional editor in the future, they will know right where to find the project files as well. The second folder that I want to build is media. This folder is kind of self-explanatory. It will house all of our media that it takes to build the final video project. Some examples are your video clips, your audio clips, maybe sound effects or photos that you'll use in your video. Folder number three is titled exports. It's another one that's kind of self-explanatory and all of our exported materials can live in this folder. We might have rough drafts that we render out for people to check out or clients to give feedback on. Our final renders can go here. Anything that we render out or export out of any of the software programs we're using can live here and we can keep track of them and make them easy to find in the future. Now, as we transition between folder three and folder four, we're also transitioning in between amateur and professional video production. But don't let that stop you from following along because if you're ever going to work with a professional editor in the future, you're going to want these folders in place. Folder number four, we title documents. Inside of this folder, you'll often find things like releases for models and actors to appear on camera, scripts, maybe PDFs of storyboards that you and your clients have worked out. Our final folder, folder number five, will be titled deliverables. Now deliverables mean different things to different people, but generally in my world, it means the final product that's going out for distribution. So again, this is a professional folder. Now, deliverables are often different than exports because most of the time when you're exporting something, it's just about done, but it's going up for review or final approval. Deliverables are often videos that go out in different formats based on your client's need. So maybe they have one video, but it's going to movie theaters to show as a promo and onto cable television to show as a 30 second commercial and maybe also onto social media. And each one of those file formats will need to be different and custom depending on the distribution. So you want to separate all your final deliverables away from your final exports because this is what's going to be delivered to your client. Now I'm going to cover the subfolders that will live inside each one of these high level folders that we've went over so far. And I'll make sure to explain why I've built these folders as we go along. Inside of folder number one, which is project files, I'm going to quickly build three different folders. The first is Premiere Pro. The second folder I'm going to build is After Effects. And the third is Adobe Audition. So these are the three main pieces of software that I use anytime I do a video production project. Depending on the software that you use, obviously your folder names will be different, but the premise will remain the same. So I wanna quickly point out again that I have used 01, 02, 03, and so on to name my folders. And this is one of those things that amongst editors, some people love it, some hate it. So it's up to your discretion if you use it or not. But I like to use it because no matter who I'm working with or what system anyone is on, if that system tries to alphabetize the folders, they're going to come out in the same sequence no matter who's looking at them. And that just makes it really easy to communicate back and forth with other editors. The other benefit of this is I know every time I look at my folder structure, it's going to be in the same order no matter what. And so you get used to seeing your folder structure and it makes it that much quicker when you want to dive into that structure and find something. Now we're back out at our high level folders again, and we're going to go inside the media folder or folder number two. Inside here, I'm going to build four new folders. The first one is video. 
The second folder I'm going to build is audio. The third folder is photo. And the fourth folder is artwork. Now folders one and two, video and audio, that's pretty self-explanatory. For a lot of video projects, you end up with video clips and audio clips that need to be synced up with those. The third folder is photo. And you'll just have to take my word for it. Over all the years of my video production career, you end up using photos for a lot of different things. They might end up in your final video, but they're also references sometimes or logos from your client or color palettes that you have to reference. There's a lot of times that you end up with all different kinds of photos and photography when it comes to a video project, so it's good to keep them all in one place. The fourth folder here is artwork. Now, a lot of the work that I do in video production, I create artwork from scratch, and sometimes I animate that artwork or I have to recreate someone's logo to animate it. I do a lot of motion graphics, so bringing words and different shapes up onto the screen. Lower thirds, like you see sometimes, you know, in a newscast or if someone's giving an interview, all of those start out as pieces of artwork inside Adobe Illustrator or maybe Adobe Photoshop. And I like to keep all of my art projects and raw files in one place. We're back at our high level overview and we're going to drive into folder number three, which is exports. And in here, I'm going to build three folders. The first folder I'm going to build is AE Exports, and that's short for After Effects Exports. The second folder is Rough Cuts, and the third folder is Final Exports. Now the first folder, After Effects Exports, is because I work inside of the software program After Effects quite a bit. All of my lower thirds, special effects, motion graphics, I create them all in there, and I need to render out those individual little clips into a folder so then I can use them in my video project later. The second folder is Rough Cuts, and this one's pretty self-explanatory. This is where we render out any kind of video that isn't done yet or it's not ready to be seen by anyone else yet, but we can watch it in its entirety. A lot of times I'll get done with my very first cut and I'll render that out so I can sit back and watch it and take it in as a viewer. The third folder is Final Exports. So when you render off what you deem as a final version of the video, it can live here. But oftentimes that is not the final video that's gonna go online or go out for distribution because you might watch your own work and not like something about it and wanna go render it off again after you've made changes. Or you might show a final export to a client and they might have some changes for you and you go back in and make those changes and then render off maybe version two or version three. All right, we're going to go back out to our high level folders and drive into folder number four, which is documents. Now, just as a reminder, this is a professional level folder, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't build it because you can build empty folders and have them sit there and they're not going to take up any room. But again, you will future proof your video projects if you have these folders. Say you made a video. And then two years from now, you're paying a professional editor to go back into all your old videos and make like a super cut. They're not going to know where anything's at if you don't have a great folder structure in place. So the first folder we're going to build is scripts. And this is a folder that will house any kind of script writing or bullet pointing that you will use for your videos. Even if you're only making your own YouTube videos, it's still great to have this folder to keep all of your bullet points or your video overview documents and stuff like that all in one place underneath scripts. Folder number one, you should have no matter what kind of video project you're doing because it doesn't necessarily mean like a film script. So folder number two is for your shot list. And if you're not using shot list right now, that's okay. But again, it's good to have this folder in place just in case. So in the future, if you start using shot list, they can live here. Now, a really simple example of a shot list is if you're doing a video about coffee and you want to make sure that you get a shot of coffee pouring from, you know, the pitcher into the cup or dripping down from the coffee machine, you'll have a shot list in place and you can go through that shot list and make sure you get all of the different clips that you need to build your final video project. Now folder number three is a professional level folder and it's about call sheets which is more when you're on set or working with a professional production but again if you're working with a professional editor or a professional videographer in the future it's good to have these folders in place because they might be utilizing them as well. Folder number four is for releases, model releases, talent releases, things of that nature. And some people might think, well, you know, that's for if you're doing, you know, professional video productions. But oftentimes that could be an 
oversight. Maybe if you're shooting a testimonial video with a previous client or you're interviewing someone on camera, it's still a great idea to get a release from them so you can use their likeness in your video. Now, folder number five is biz docs or business documents. And this is actually a pretty controversial folder in the world of professional videographers. A lot of times people say that you should keep your business documents a million miles away from any of your uh, project documents. And for me, I'm a solo videographer. I do most of my own work. So knowing that I can go to a client project folder, drive in and find any of my business documents that I need, maybe it's a proposal or an old invoice or something of that nature, I like having that ability all housed within a specific project. And that's also not to say that you can't have duplicates of those files in some sort of business folder structure somewhere else on a computer or a hard drive. Now we're going to go back out and drive into folder number five, which is deliverables. The first folder we're going to create inside of deliverables is content pool. And the second folder that we are going to create is file form. Folder number one inside of deliverables is content pool. And this is one that I invented to basically solve my own needs. As a value add for a lot of my clients, I create all kinds of custom content that goes into the final video project. So let me give you a quick example. Say a client wants their logo animated and put at the beginning and end of a project. Well, as a value add, I will put an animated version of that logo in the content pool. Because the way that I work with clients is that everything that I create for you from scratch, you own it. So it's really cool to know that down the road, maybe they're working with a different video production company, a different editor. They're still going to be able to go and grab that animation and use it in a video. So that brings value to them. Folder number two inside of deliverables is file form. And we spoke about that earlier. Uh, certain kinds of videos need to be in certain formats to be legally broadcast on television or to be shown on a big movie theater screen. And this is where all of those final deliverables live, those final file formats that are needed for all different kinds of distribution. Okay, it's bonus time. I wanted to let you know if you stick around to the end of this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can actually go and get this folder structure pre-built for you. All you have to do is download it, unzip it, and you'll be ready to go. If you like these kinds of videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell so you never miss an episode. And if you're feeling really generous, why don't you go ahead and give us a thumbs up. So I just wanted to let you know that this is just one video in a series where I will be talking about my video production process, making sure you guys have all the information you need to have successful video projects from start to finish. So if any of you have been wanting to create your own great video content, but you don't know where to start, we actually have an amazing product called One Minute Media. One Minute Media is video coursework, an ongoing monthly membership that empowers you and educates you on how to create your own great video content with something as simple as a smartphone. If you purchase the coursework, you will keep lifetime access to that coursework and any updates we do in the future. And if you become a member, you'll have access to our private community that's full of students, alumni who have been there before, and video professionals like myself that'll help you every step of the way. Oh yeah, and tons of great bonus content as well. We have dedicated email help and also discounted rates for editing and consults just in case you guys get stuck and need some help along the way. If you want to check out the website, go to oneminmedia.com. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out and email me at info at oneminmedia.com. If you've been thinking about creating your own great video content and you want some support behind you while you're doing it, One Minute Media is a great solution. Earlier I mentioned if you stuck around to the end of the video, we'd give you a bonus. And that bonus is this folder structure already built for you. So if you visit the web address that's on the screen or also down in the description below, you can fill out this short contact form and that'll give you access to download our pre-built folder structure that you can start using right away. Okay, everyone, I am out of here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to check out some of our other great content that'll help you out on your journey to creating better video content. My name's Dan Bennett, The Antipreneur, and I'll see you on the other side.